Welcome to Using Twitter for Academic Research. I'm Jill Boren, and this tutorial will show you how to use Twitter as a unique jumping off point for academic research. Twitter is a microblogging online social media platform that allows users to communicate using no more than 140 characters. While many people use Twitter, it has increasingly become a medium for scholarly communication. Scholars actively participate on Twitter by sharing information, media, and resources. Students can benefit from this communication by obtaining both the valuable resources available as well as learning about authors, titles, and concepts that can form the basis for further research. This tutorial will demonstrate how to most effectively use Twitter as a research tool. To get started, first sign in and create an account. Create your username, how you will be identified on Twitter, and a password. Then start following people and organizations that you find interesting. For academic research, think about authors, organizations, and keywords related to your topic and use the Twitter search box to find these. Then follow the individuals and organizations that share information and resources about your topic. When you search using a hashtag in Twitter's search box, you obtain all the tweets that include this hashtag. By looking at the language of the tweets, you can see how a variety of people contribute to the conversation about a topic. This is especially helpful when the concept is new to you. You can use Twitter to gauge the history of social media coverage on a topic. In this example, by searching hashtag moral injury and scrolling to the first tweet that used the hashtag, I learned that it was first used in February 2011 and has appeared in over 500 tweets in the last five years. When looking at the tweets, I discovered the same individuals and organizations discussing this topic. I can then follow these Twitter feeds to find more information about moral injury and see how the discussion continues to progress. The image on the right shows the result of the search on hashtag moral injury. Every tweet listed includes this hashtag. The list on the left shows some of the Twitter feeds that have contributed multiple posts to using this hashtag. When you click on the links included in these tweets, you will either obtain the full text of the article or access to the abstract. It does not matter if the Twitter feed is from an authoritative or reliable source. You can judge authority based upon the resource you obtain through the link. For example, Peace Groves does not appear academic or authoritative, but when you click on the link in this tweet, you obtain the full text of a 2012 article from PTSD Research Quarterly. All of the information that you need to verify this as a scholarly article appears directly on the first page of the article. You also notice that most of the information you would need to create a bibliographic reference appears here as well. You see the journal title, volume, issue number, and year of publication. The article title and author's names are also clearly stated. And you obtain valuable information about these authors with their titles and affiliations. Now that you know that these scholars have written about moral injury, you can search for their names in our scholarly databases. Search the Widener University scholarly databases to discover what additional articles Brett Litz has published about moral injury. The previous article showed that both of these authors are involved in mental health care, so you should search PsychInfo, the psychology database. To search this database, start at the library's homepage and click on Databases by Title, and then select the database PsycInfo. In the PsycInfo search box, search for the author Litz, Brett by changing the field of the first box to Author, and then add the keywords Moral Injury in the second box. Always limit to peer review to ensure that you obtain only scholarly articles. PsycInfo features seven articles by Brett Litz that include the term moral injury. To obtain the full text, click on the PDF full text or linked full text icons directly from the database record. Click on Full Text Finder to see if you can obtain the full text for these articles from another database. The academic journal icon displayed for all of these articles provides further proof that these are all indeed scholarly articles. 
If you click on the link of this tweet from APA Journals, it takes you to an abstract for a journal article on the APA PsychNet website. You cannot obtain the full text from this site. Search the library's discovery system by entering the full article title in quotation marks into the search box. This is located on the library's homepage. The discovery system enables you to search all of the library's databases and the catalog at the same time. When you search for this article title, the first result is the article that you need. Click on the PDF full text icon to obtain the article. The search of Twitter for hashtag moral injury returned many results from popular magazines, newspapers, and websites. This slide shows examples of tweets that link to articles in HuffingtonPost.com, Time Magazine, The Washington Post, and The New York Times. This indicates that people are sharing these varying resources to contribute to the conversation on moral injury. While articles from these sources are not considered scholarly, you can use them to become better informed about this topic. The articles accessed from the tweets displayed here discuss the spiritual wounds suffered by veterans and their increased risk of suicide. You can search the scholarly databases using keywords and concepts mentioned in these sources. Then use the scholarly sources that you discover for your research. Go to Advanced Search in the Discovery System by clicking on the Advanced Search link in the Discovery box. On the Advanced Search screen, enter the keywords Veterans and Suicide and make sure you limit to Peer Reviewed, which ensures that all of your results come from scholarly sources. The results show that there are over 4,000 articles about Veterans and Suicide. Selecting Peer Reviewed from the previous screen eliminated materials from popular magazines or newspapers. You can obtain the full text for many of these articles in the discovery system. All of the articles in this first set are available either directly from the search screen or by clicking on Full Text Finder. Again, the academic journal icon displayed for all of these articles provides further proof that these are all scholarly articles. Twitter is just another tool that you can use as a jumping off place to find scholarly content. This tutorial showed you how well Twitter works with the library's scholarly databases to find full text articles. You can search for people and organizations on Twitter and then look at their tweets for relevant information. Links from tweets represent the most valuable features on Twitter. Sometimes clicking on these links leads you directly to the full text of a scholarly article. Usually these links lead you to abstracts, articles in magazines, newspapers, or on websites. You can then search Widener's databases and discovery system using keywords, authors, and titles you obtained to find the relevant scholarly articles. You will find the library's databases offer many articles that you can easily obtain in full text format. Approach Twitter with a sense of adventure. Here, you can gain many perspectives about a topic and you never know what you will discover. Please contact me if you have any questions. I would be pleased to show you more about this valuable resource. You can also follow me on Twitter at jmeredithb.